watching my channel, my Concha Crew. It is your girl Diane Puro Guanajuato's vlogs. Yeah. And I'm here with La Reina de Mar. My beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> Y'all, we are excited. Let me tell you. But first, uh, we want to welcome all the new subscribers to the Concha Crew. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and take a, a chance on me, my friends. And welcome to the Concha Crew. Let me tell you. Go ahead right now, go to the right, hit that bell so you're notified every time that I post and every time that I go live. Wow, I, I'm, I mean, 16K. I know. Wow. 16K, can you believe that? I mean, I'm still shocked, you know? Girl, let's be real. You was, only, you was halfway there to 17K. Right. You, you, you was there. Right. That's <laughs> exciting. Isn't it exciting, you guys? Shout out to each one of you guys in the Poncha crew for supporting and watching the channel. You guys, we truly, truly, truly appreciate each one of you. Yes. Look at mine, looks all fat. Look a little fatty, fatty heart. She got, my nails <laughs> she got her nails, dude. <laughs> all right, so babe, tell them where we're at. All right, so we are in Tucson, Arizona. Um, we're kind of in the outskirts towards uh, we in the boonies. It is pitch dark out here. This is yes. I was trying to find a way to <laughs> describe that. So if you know, I always say this, but if you're familiar with Tucson, um, you know exactly where I'm talking about. So we're kind of in the outskirts of Tucson, leaning towards the east side. Um, but we are at Triple T Truck Stop. Yes. This is a so truck stop. Triple T here is a truck stop that's for truckers who are on the road 24/7, mm -hmm. um, where they can, you know, kind of. Fill up on their gas, uh, get some food here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, so long story short, we are at Triple T Truck Stop. Yes. AKA gas station for the truckers. Right. Gift shops for your boots. You're running, you know, okay. on the bad side. <laughs> but we have to shout out this video is a sponsored video yeah. shout, shout out to dallas cowboys which is the ariel's mother only. yes mom she's my mom thank so you so much point, she's she's everyone's mom now she's my mother-in-law <laughs> <laughs> aka dallas Cowboys. yes and why a lot of people may ask why is her name dallas cowboys because she is a fanatic of the dallas cowboys as she would say d for our something for life and D for our life yes <laughs> Dallas Cowboys for life uh-huh for life she has a dark hat like oh my goodness <laughs> she Tries has the crazy. earrings are the cowboy star Dallas Cowboys her I mean she has a purse Dallas Cowboys it, it has a Dallas symbol on it she wants it yep. she don't care if she has like 10 of them already she wants it yep. So she is a die hard Dallas Cowboys fan. So shout out. Shout out to you, Mom. Thanks for sponsoring this video. Yes. And let's go and ahead right now and recommending this place. Yes, right that's too. right. She did recommend this place. That yes. is so true. Let's go ahead right now and put some blue hearts for Dallas Cowboys, y'all. Let's show her some love. Mira, mira. Okay, I'm like trying to Let me try sure. it. <laughs> <laughs> so like Ariel said, um, I've actually, you know, wanted to try uh, this place for a while now. And this is an, um, this is a truck stop, you guys. Like yeah. outside, there are truckers out there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So shout out to all the truckers, you know. And the reason for that is because they put in the work. They are. They're the reason why we get food. Yep. Our packages. Yep. Legit everything. Yes. You know what I mean? So shout, well, shout out, out to the to truckers. Them. If you know someone, tell them thank you. Yes. If you're one of them, thank you. When you're running through the state of Arizona, Tucson specifically, make sure you come Stop in. right here. Triple T. It's always open. So that's another thing because tr truck drivers are always on the road. Um, this restaurant is always open. And this has been here for a while, right? Oh my gosh. It's another childhood thing for me. Um, driving by, I'm like, ooh. Because when you're on the freeway, all you see is these big triple t the big red t and they just yeah. they light up t yes. t t t t triple t <laughs> so it's something you cannot miss and it's cute in here because they have a gift shop in here yeah. so you know those that are like driving in through arizona they can stop and get something you know like mm -hmm. for mem uh for memories that's like what my mom did yeah um, so like like i as a child i was like what is that place like how come it's always like so like it stands out but like and then one day she took us here. Oh my gosh! As a child, I was in heaven because I'm like, Oh, mom, can I get this? They have candies, a gift shop. <laughs> yep. 
And then in here, it's like a 50s diner. It's cute in here. Thing. Like where we're sitting at right now, this is like a, it gives me like a girl, girly, girly vibe. Yes. And this is remodeled because Ariel's mom was mentioning that it is newly remodeled here. The menu is remodeled. Everything, it's really nice in here. Yeah, so it's got a fresh look. Yeah, because when we're coming up there, I'm like, I don't remember it looking like this. <laughs> so, yeah, it's probably been like over 10 maybe like what maybe 15 years since i've came here. wow that is very um, interesting that's like me feel old i would <laughs> love to be able to go across you know the country and stop and try all these different truck stops yeah. they have this really big one um that's in texas i believe it's called uh, bisbee or something with the b busties and this is this place has like a restaurants inside it has like it's we we actually went to one in uh las las vegas member mm -hmm. and it was like i don't know it had like a hundred different it just things so it was, and it was cool it was really cool. it was really cool but i must say when we went it was really just like empty and creepy and like an eerie that, feeling like, yeah like almost like a yeah it was like a, but i think it's because we went around the whole c19 you know yeah. when it first started so a lot of people probably were not really out you mm -hmm. know and stuff but this is going to be exciting you guys thank you so much for joining us please make sure you guys watch this whole entire video we're going to go ahead and place our order and we will be back yeah you go la comida the food has oh, arrived nice. all right so we're going to go ahead and go over what it is we ordered here i'm so excited i must say the name though this is what's the name again omar's highway chef restaurant omar's highway chef restaurant this is in triple t though yes but it's just you know omar's highway chef restaurant highway. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because it's right off the highway aka freeway. yeah do you see, you guys do you see how massive this taco salad is look at how big this is it's huge. I mean, damn. Um, I got a big head, but this, this is, a is big. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, we'll go over what we ordered. I've already told you guys I got this massive, ginormous. This is probably the biggest taco salad that I have ever seen. Uh, I've never seen that before. Right, and I'm excited. I'll go over as I'm in, I'm digging in what's inside of this. Already, you can see there's a layer of cheese. I'm a cheese mm -hmm. fanatic. You have the oh the lettuce you have the tomato and i um i'll go over that when i when i'm eating as we dig in as we dig in <laughs> and then uh ariel will go over what she got what did you order babe? so i they have a huge variety they do of things on here so i wanted to choose something that i feel like like okay it's either gonna be a hit mm -hmm. or a miss okay so i decided to go with meatloaf um and then you get to choose your side it comes with thread and then you choose your side. I actually chose two. I chose mashed potatoes and then onion rings. Um, but I mean, take a look Let's at Let's go ahead and show you guys. Good. Look at that right there. Ooh, that. It's just the, the papas with that gravy. Y'all, yeah. oh my and goodness. You know what? Normally, I forgot today, but normally I ask for extra like gravy and all that stuff. It looks like they already knew what else they They already knew. They yeah. already knew. So that's, that's interesting. It's very interesting, their menu, because they have. Yeah. They have a selection for everything. They serve everything, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, 24 mm -hmm. hours. They have a breakfast Ooh. menu, lunch they menu. Burgers, they have steaks. Like waffles, pancakes, tacos, yeah. yeah. enchiladas. What else did we see? Uh, we fish soup. and chips. Yeah, fish and chips. Soup. Chicken. There's literally, I, um, I feel like it's just everything. To they even have, you know, like course. sandwiches. And look at, they even got some if drinks. You need a little bit of a, here, some ASMR. If you need a little bit of a drink, they got drink specials. And yes, they got drink specials. So, um, as Ariel also got a part of her order, we'll go ahead and show you guys here yes. so some I onion, onion rings. Onion rings. They of course asked which uh, kind of dip would you like. Mm. I didn't know. I they, they caught me off guard, so my baby automatically said barbecue. And it's that. That's what I'm going with. Barbecue. It's the onion rings with barbecue sauce. Comment below. Yes. What do you eat your onion rings with? Mine is bar barbecue sauce. I just sauce. eat it by itself. That I don't even think I mm -hmm. realize that you can eat them with something. But I must say, I like how they gave us. I asked for you know for the taco salad, some yes. sour cream, extra salsa. So take a look at this. Look guys. at that. The way they gave it to us. This is so. so here's my barbecue. Uh huh. The salsa. Which is like a chunky salsa. Oh, yeah. And then the sour cream. Sour so cream. We're going to go in on that one. And I also, since I'm having a salad, you know, I also ordered us. This is a. No, it's not enough. Right. I also ordered here 
This is a cup of chili beans. You can get a bowl or a cup. And it comes with crackers. Oh, yes. I love their dishes here. Their dishes are cute. But y'all, are y'all ready to eat? I think so. We've had a long day, by the way. If you joined us on our live earlier, we went to that carniceria. Huh, then we went and did a million errands. So please, if my hair is everywhere, you know, it is what it is. I must say, babe, we look kind of good for a long day. Right. Of chores. Right. <laughs> I'm going to call them chores. <laughs> you know, we've been running errands all day. We've been all day. You look good, babe. You look good. Oh, you look beautiful, baby. <laughs> Love you. So if you guys can join us for our prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessing in this meal. May you bless the hands that made this. Provide a warm meal to someone else to me, dear Lord. Please bless the Concha crew, dear Lord. And please make sure, dear Lord, that those that are watching us, dear Lord, they know that they are not alone. They have the Concha crew. And again, thank you for the blessing in this meal. May it be nutrition to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Okay. Whew. Where do I start? This is a Can part. I yeah, I was literally going to say that. This is a part where I'm just like... Where? Okay, I gotta get. I first, look at they put these the utensils, so we're gonna get both out. I'm sorry. This taco salad thing is massive. I don't know if you guys can eat it. The and this is all made fresh, by the way, like for order. They don't have these made. These shells, I was told, are made when you order them. Oh yeah, you can you can tell that they they right. I wonder how they do it. Is it some people like to make it with like a big or tortilla, but. This That's is huge. Theater. Look at, let me give you guys a close up. That is ginormous. It almost reminds me of like an Indian fried bread. Right. But then they fry it like crispy. Like the bowl. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here is Ariel's going to be going in on hers. I'm going to go ahead and grab my sour cream over here. We're going to put all the sour cream. We're not going to waste any sour cream. No, ma'am. I'm about to ask her for some more. I was going to say that we, we always ask for more. We're going to do extra up in here. So for me, I love the gravy, and I always ask for extra. I don't know what it is, but I always like a lot. Okay, we're gonna put that. And then we're gonna grab over here some some salsa. This is chunky yeah. salsa. Can I have some of that salt? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me try the, let's try the salsa. Mm. Delicious, I will say, and it is have a kick. But then, you know, usually when you go out to places to eat, we add salt because they don't put a lot of salt in there. Mm. Yeah. I need a little bit more. Okay, right there. Thank you, baby. Oh, this has a, has a kick. It has a little kick, kick. Look at that. Let me tell you. I really want some Yes. That. Yes. We're going to put some salsa. Mm. Mm. Okay. And I'm actually going to eat <laughs> My baby's excited. Okay, let's get in. Let's get in. I'm trying to see what's inside this taco taco salad. Who likes taco salads? I do. Me too. I love taco salads. When I see they have this on the menu, I'm like, oh, I want to try it. I'm just like shocked at how big that is. Like, mm -hmm. mm. I thought maybe it's gonna be like a little a little bowl. Mm. It's, it's girl, that thing's massive. Mm. Like that's like for two people. This really could be for two people. And you know what I'm gonna say off the back? I love how their their ground beef is seasoned so well. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So this, I think it's like a beef um, mm. gravy. How's your how's your meal look, baby? This is bomb. This is really good. You even touch that bad boy yet? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm making my way. Ooh, that just cut so easy. Mm. Ooh. She's looking that little. And the ends, you can tell, obviously, they probably look to you guys like they're burnt, but they're not. They're just mm -hmm. really, really, like the ends are just, how do you say this? Like, it's like a char. Like char. They're not burnt, but it's like a char. Mm -hmm. Better and better. And I can already hear people are going to say you guys are sitting mm -hmm. on that side where you guys are going to be rubbing elbows. It's okay, you know, because we... We're not rubbing elbows this time. We're we love... rubbing op opposite elbows. This is my dominant. That's her dominant. We just... So today, we did good. But I was going to say, we love to rub. Rub a dub dub. Okay, stop. This is my mom's video. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a big bite. That's a big one. That one's for y'all. So, I feel like meat now. Mm-hmm. 
is like a, I guess like an American favorite, I feel like. I could be wrong, but at least like with the people that I know, they always love meatloaf. Mm -hmm. I love meatloaf. And every rep recipe is a little bit different, but this one, I feel like oh, it's so good. It's, it's, I don't know, maybe you can help me with this, but I feel like it's a little bit more on the smokier side. And I think that's what comes from like when they um, bake it, how they let it to char a little bit. It's so good and juicy. Mm. It's real soft. Mm. Mm -hmm. They are not skimpy. This thing is packed. Packed. Like, mm, it is loaded. They have pinto beans in here. I don't know. I'm going to do a big bag. That is delicious. Mm. Oh. I mean, you got a flesh yeah. mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just so excited. I'm like, come on, babe. Eat it. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. You want to treat? You want to treat, baby? Treat. You want to try? Okay. She said no. I don't want. I don't want to treat. Okay. That's okay with me. This. I feel like with this meatloaf. Mhm. Mm it's um. Uh, I don't want some more meatloaf. I feel like they didn't give you enough. And the portion is. Good. Let's move this cup because saying, they can't see your meatloaf. There we go. Ooh. The portion is good. I'm just saying I want more because I like meatloaf. Mm. You know what's missing though? I like ketchup. Ketchup? No. Ketchup okay. is a must. I was going to ask her for ketchup, right? But on my plate, they put the gravy on the mashed potatoes and they end up putting the gravy on the, the meatloaf. So because of that, I wanted to try it first to see mm -hmm. if I liked it. And it's good. But typically, like you, I want the ketchup too. So I think. If I were to order it again, I would definitely order it with the gravy, but I also want to try with the ketchup. So mm -hmm. I think next time I would tell them no, excuse me, no gravy, but definitely ketchup. I love ketchup. I ketchup think this is a nice bomb with ketchup. This is really good. I'm just surprised mm -hmm. how loaded this mm -hmm. taco salad is. And that meat loaf was really good. Yes. Mm. It's really fun. You know what I love in here? I can mm -hmm. say that they have like the old fashioned candies. And they have mm -hmm. so many different candies to choose from. Mm -hmm. Like, they have like the, the Laffy Taffy. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I got some garlic braids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you ever be a trucker, babe? Me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like truckers are so busy, always on the road. But I heard they make them money mm -hmm. as they should because they're always out and about. Do they sleep in their car or what thing? So I don't know. I think I probably wouldn't. But I have my friend, like Pamela, she wants to be a trucker, so she wants to get her CDL um, license and they make good money. So shout out to y'all again. I just a lot felt, of driving. Yeah, and I feel like we already drive a lot as it is. I just, I don't know. I'm not opposed to it, but I don't think I could. This is the only salad I'm gonna eat. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. mm, that bread is good. This thing is filled. Hey, there's so much ground beef, and the ground beef is so seasoned well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try it now. I'm not gonna say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love the pinto beans in here. I, I'm thinking I haven't even told them what's in here. Let's turn it this way so they can see better. So there's pinto yeah, beans inside. Lettuce, tomato, mm -hmm. of course cheese. Mm. Oh my goodness, it is so delicious. There you go, baby. Here we go. She covered it mm -hmm. with her hand. You guys can't see that big bite. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> But I'm gonna mm -hmm. try. Is it bomb? Yeah, I think it tastes that. That's really good. Yeah, the salsa is good. The chunky salsa is mm -hmm. delicious. Look at my beer. I don't know what I want to do. I'm like, I won't come here, but I'm here. Yeah, you're holding it back. I'm holding it. What are we doing with that too? Baby, didn't try the shell. Okay. Try it. Oh, that sounds crispy. You want it with some of this? You want some of the. Yeah. Crispy. I take a bite and do the shelf is gonna fall and we ain't wasting nothing. I'm really trying to give these people 
y'all ASMR. Mm. I love chili beans. I'm a big time chili bean fan. I love me some chili beans and some cornbread. Mm -hmm. It's a must to have onions in mine. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna try it over here this year. I'm excited for that one. Mm -hmm. That is some killer. So, they give you options on the size that you want to order. Mm. I must say, I was low-key sad then when you ordered the small one and not the big one. <laughs> the what, what chili bean? The chili bean. This is so good. All I need is some cornbread. Mm. Mm. Baby. These onion rings, I've already been eating them. I don't know if you guys have been seeing that they are delicious. Mm. I like that the... Mm. The batter is very light and crispy and golden. Mm. How are the chili beans, baby? Oh. What I always love when I can pick up a little bit of the onion from it. Mm. If I could be, mm. if I could, if I could eat like this, I'd be a trucker. But this type of food, yeah, catch me on the highway. Stop number one. What's the next one? We actually went um to um mm. what was it wow. Route sixty six. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It was really nice experience. Mm -hmm. Which that's in uh, Williams, Arizona. Williams, right? Mm -hmm. It was so nice out there and it was snowing. It was so cute. Mm -hmm. And we um had stopped at this one um shop where it has like antique things and like the cars that were still running which was insane mm -hmm. was, old like, fashioned like, cars yeah from like the early 1900s that were still running and i, I was like man this girl's gotta be mine so if i looked at the license plate they had current license plate registration all that stuff the ones that you wind up like to turn on the car yeah. can you put your winding up wait no my grandma yeah. arthritis in my yeah. carpal tunnel would be <laughs> <laughs> i'd be like can you guys come please wind up my car Mm -hmm. But it's cute though, because if your kids are like big fans of like um, Cars, the movie, they have yes. all that there. Like that's where um, they, they based it off, right? Yeah, so Route 66. So if, you're, if you ever watch that movie Cars, they go down Route 66. So that's where it's inspired them too. Mm. This thing is huge. I don't even know if I can finish this thing. It looks like I haven't even touched it, even though it's missing the shower right here. I love that view because you guys can literally see how packed it is inside. These are good. I, like I haven't even touched them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is so good here. I'm already gonna rate it. One to ten, this is a ten. Oh yeah. By far. I was gonna say, you know what? If I was a trucker, this would be my favorite place to go. It really would. I would be stopping here all the time. Yes, and I don't know about you guys, but like when it's dark outside, it makes me feel like it's late, mm -hmm. right? When you come in here, you it's can't even up. tell. Yeah, it's lit, lit scene. Mm. Mm. We said that in sync. <laughs> we said, mm. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna say here something mm. that I haven't seen in forever. Mm. They have this. It's like where they make their own pies, mm, and they even yes. have sugar-free options, and it's like pies and cheesecakes. Yeah. So anyone out here in Tucson or planning to travel here, stop at Triple T. Cause yeah, we saw sugar free pumpkin pie, and I saw that and I was like, cause I love pumpkin pie. And I'm like, mm, I want that. I love that it's an old fashioned like um, like it's a it's a it's like, like a, a spin table. A spin table, and it's mm -hmm. going in circles, and you're seeing so many different chocolate mousse cake, that red velvet cake, cheesecakes, key lime pies. Pumpkin pies, Everything. blueberries, mm -hmm. bear pies. Yes. They even have tres leches. Oh my god, I can see that. Mm -hmm. They have tres leches. That is so cute. I, I'm I very, like, I miss the old days, like old fashioned days. So I'm getting like an old fashioned vibe in here, like a diner. Yes, but it's very fun. Really Excuse fun. me. Mm. A very, and it's nice and mellow. They have this huge taco salad. I'm, I'm like, still blown at the fact that that's, that's there's no way it's she's never gonna ending. That. <laughs> Is this chips? Oh, there's chips in there. There's chips in here. It's a chip. What? There's a chip in there. I'm gonna take in there. There's chips. Girl. Oh wow, there is 
Cause right now yeah. I was like, so look. look at the chips. Look, there's a chip. It's a mm. chip. Yeah. That mm -hmm. is good. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then it's soggy. And I'm, I'm legit like kind of shook that it was underneath all of that and it's not soft. Shout out to all those that are in Tucson. Mm. Edie Marie. Monica. Audrey. Audrey. Um, Dallas. Laura. Laura too? Yeah, Laura. Um, she's a mod. Laura B? Uh, group, group, girl, it's group. Some, Laura uh, B. Yes. Shout out to everyone <laughs> of you guys from you Tucson. my Tucson sister. Y'all need to get out here. And you've probably already been here. But mm -hmm. this right here, this is so good. Like, All right. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. With my barbecue. I found some tortilla chips and there look there's more i'm sure they got tortilla shit look tortilla there's tortilla like so it's on a bed of tortilla chips so you have this yes that's the tortilla shoes beans it looks uh -huh. like ground beef hey, yep ground beef cheese tomato mm -hmm. lettuce yeah that works there's, they were a nine when they said the problem i look like they haven't even finished it babe that's more like the problem but mine. you can choose though because they're going to ask you can choose i chose that i wanted ground beef but you can choose chicken or shredded beef. Mm, okay. Or if you're, you know, you don't do meat, you can do no meat. Whatever you choose. How are the... Let me Maybe see. can I treat your papas? The mashed potatoes are good. Mm. But they definitely packed it on. Like a lot? They packed it on. Like they were not stingy. Chili beans, one to ten. Those are a ten. Yep. Mm, I just need some cornbread and that'd be... That'd be the cherry on the pie. They're good. I'll be honest. They're not my mashed potatoes, so they're not the best. <laughs> when the food is so good, this one, she be in her own world. Like, she tells me, babe, sometimes you in your own world. Welcome to my world now. Because she'll be here, mm hmm And I'm sitting here like this. I said, babe, can I have some of your papa? <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant to say. I thought you grabbed that so you can grab some. I got little arms. Little yeah. arms. Let's see. I'm just biased. Mm. Mine and my and my world mm. are the best ever. But when we but when we ain't in your world, baby. When we ain't in my world, mm -hmm. I will say these are a hitter. And hands down. I'm just saying, like, damn, they they really spoiled us today because I can't eat all these potatoes. It's like they put like three major scoops, like three little scoops in here. That's why you got your boo to help you right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. There you go. No, help you out Come on. Mm. I'm just, I'm, I have mm. to sit back for a little bit. Mm. Everyone's are very, very delicious. And I'm going to say this. It's because she, man, that butter. They, you could taste the papa and it's butter. It's like mountain all over and your face. And she can describe how I make it. She mm. probably tried to put a whole of butter. Right. And that's not true. It's not true. Oh yeah. Um, hold on. Cut, cut. It's right there. The receipt. Where's the? No, but I know the wallet. So the food don't is delicious, like that. Don't, don't do it. but they need to emphasize on their customer service because I find that really, really Not rude. Only that, but she bought us the receipts before we were even ready to say. Hey, we barely started eating our food. Like legit, barely got our food. Mm -hmm. and she bought us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, just 
Hold on. You, when you hand over the check, after you've already used, you know, she obviously with my card, she went to go take it. Why are you standing at the table watching what I'm writing? You're supposed to place that down. Give me time to fill it out. And come back. And then come back. We haven't even finished and we've already paid for a meal. We got our check before we even ate the meal. So let me say this. I don't think it's triple T itself. No. It's definitely this lady. It's and the waitress. Because, um, another lady that had already checked out, she left. Um, prior to her leaving, she said, hey, how are you? Mm -hmm. You know, checked in with us even though she wasn't a waitress. And then prior to her, like right before she left, she made sure that she said bye to have a good night. Mm -hmm. So I know it's not the, the restaurant itself. It's just this particular lady, like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I agree. And that's the thing is like, to me, that's fine that, you know, your shift is ending. But for me to sit here and before we've even ate, give us the check. And then literally we start eating. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys have noticed we probably ate about 10 minutes in. Mm -hmm. She comes and has a nerve to say, can, you know, I cash, can I, in other words, get can payment. Can you guys hurry up and pay so I can finish my paperwork? That's what she said. And so literally right now she just already walked out with, you know, obviously her, her register and stuff. like not the register, but you know, but the, where the, the money and stuff, and stuff, the container. So I'm like, okay, like we don't know who's our next waitress. Let me tell you. We I don't have, know if we're going to get two go boxes. Well, they have dessert here. They have a wonderful bite dessert and have you bring it to my table. What is going on with customer service? I am so sorry. But I've had it. Like, I legit had it. And that's why I cannot wait to be in the studio in my own home. Because this is unacceptable. Yeah. Very unacceptable. At the end of the day, I am a paying customer. I just paid a good amount of money to oh, be yeah, rushed. Let me tell you. What? Listen. <laughs> I'm Common upset. Sense, don't rush a customer mm -mm. to pay their bill. Don't assume that they're done right. ordering. Because that's the first thing she did was... Assume that we were done ordering, so she already printed the ticket out for us and all that stuff. I mean, usually when food's like bomb like this, mm -hmm. we typically like to order something, like mm -hmm. a dessert, even if we have to share it or whatever. But she brought the receipt to us as we were eating. This is crazy, <laughs> you know, and this is really live recorded. And I'm just, I'm, I'm done. I feel like customer service is like, and I'm, I am a tipper. I will tip. But I'm sorry, I'm gonna tip you. I'm gonna tip you grading your the way you your customer services. And let me tell you. And there's some people they don't even like to tip. There's people out there who won't tip. Mm -mm. You might be able to relate and say, uh uh. If they would have done that, I wouldn't have given them a tip. Mm -mm. But it's the hospitality. Yeah. You know what I mean? We mm -hmm. tip because we're gracious, we want to be gracious and help you out because, you know. But, yeah. So, long story short, as we were eating, she printed out our receipt prior to asking if we would like anything else. She then, five minutes later, can you guys... In other words, pay. Now can so you... I can do my little paperwork. And be out. And be out. And not only that, as I am sitting here, and I'm legit signing this thing, she's standing she's right there looking so, down at what I'm signing. She waited for us to get our, um, oh, okay then. This is another thing, I don't know if you've noticed it. So when she came up to us and said, um, can you guys pay for your bill so that I can, you know, finish up my paperwork for tonight, right? And we caught off her car, which is like, mm -mm. okay. So I'm getting the card and, um, I'm like, hold oh, the receipt right there. She grabs the receipt, doesn't even let us see it. Mm -mm. She just, Okay. And of okay. course, Dan gets rid of the car wherever she walks away, charges it, brings back the receipt so that she can sign it. But usually when people charge a car, they give you your receipt, you do the tip, and they walk away. So that they give you time to like decide, okay, do I tip this person how much blah, blah, blah. You get your own privacy. She didn't do that. She's still right there at the end of the seat, watching her like as she's signing it. You know... Um, 
this is the thing is that, like I said in the beginning, I cannot wait to start recording in my studio um, at my home. I'm, I'm excited because this is what I'm not except I, I I'm already I'm already annoyed. I'm upset because I paid it a pretty penny and for that type of treatment to be rushed is ridiculous. This already done killed my whole mood, my, my, my meal. Like I, I love the food, it was delicious. I'm not gonna knock the food because it was delicious. But like Ariel said, this waitress, I'm not gonna say it's the whole establishment. No, because there is other people But she needs to be trained on next. customer service, her, however, period. Is, is, is the vibe that you get from her is how she rushes customers. Mm -hmm. Listen, we all got the, you know, we all got things to do before we leave our mm -hmm. work shift, whatever. So don't go up to a customer who's actively eating. We're obviously recording, you know, and stop us in our feet to say, hey, can you pay your bills so I can leave? Mm -mm. It is what anyway, it is. I'm already so done. <laughs> past all of that, my rating for here was definitely a 10 out of 10. The food was a 10. I would come back here to eat some more food. That but she would not be my waitress. No, absolutely not. The food is a 10 out of 10. Thank you, Mom, for supporting Thank you, Dallas Cowboys. Supporting Thank you. This video and everything. If any of y'all come down here, make sure you don't have her. Right. <laughs> make sure you don't have her. I'm sorry. Everyone else, they're good. Legit. Like, there was other waitresses here mm -hmm. that were very nice and like welcoming this one i don't know maybe she just had a bad day i have I no clue is, but this but is what i'm talking no about excuses, right? she done like when this is what i'm talking about her mood affected my mood and so I, i'm already in a bad mood and i'm just upset i will say that is the biggest level yes so it's very delicious huge i can't finish it it was packed loaded this is for two people, I will say this. If you're one person, this is going to be like a challenge to finish it, if yes. you can. Because I, I mean, you know me, I love to eat. I was in here digging in, digging in, digging in. Uh, chili beans was delicious. I love the recipe. Very, very, um, just bold in that flavor. Mm. You know, it was delicious. I love how they have pinto and kidney beans in the chili beans. Because sometimes people don't put those two. They'll just yeah. put like... I can't taste it right Yeah, now. they'll just put like pure, you know, pinto beans. But I love the red kidney beans and the pinto beans in combination in there. Yes. And then that was delicious, what my babe got. You know, I don't think I've ever had like a garlic toast with meatloaf or mashed potatoes. Mm -mm. But let me tell you, you can tell they, they make these themselves. Because yeah. you can see the sprinkles of the oregano mm -hmm. and the garlic. Bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Onion rings were good too. Like I said, I love how the batter was it's very light it's and crispy uh -huh. sometimes you get the real thick batter i don't like that that's just too much for me so everything was 10 out of 10 customer service for this she gotta go she gotta go she needs to be she retrained and i'm sorry it is what it is and again i'm just having too many experiences with bad customer service i understand we're going through something everybody's going through something in this world we all are but don't, it is don't put it out on other people yeah if you're not having a great day don't 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 let it be known to me right. when you're working. You know exactly, what I mean? Exactly, like, exactly. We came in here ready to bring you guys some good content, <laughs> and we still are, because we're going to we are show you the core of this whole place. Yes, it's it's nice but in yeah. here. The vibe is don't, very don't, nice. Um, whatever's going on in your life, don't... Take it out on others. Take it out on other people. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we all have our hard days where it's kind of hard, but we kind of have to, like reflect and we're like down yep i was kind of mean huh? yeah you know that's that's fine reflect and like recharge and and i doubt she's gonna watch this choices, you know but if you're watching that's why you got the tip you got so you practice on your customer service you appreciate my service so that you can get a tip be grateful you should have got a tip and let me tell you I didn't even she's lucky she even got one because i should have gave her a penny i didn't even know you even tip them up she lucky she even got one and that's what i'm saying you practice on customer service you have a job and that's your job so no, you know when i go to work then, and i'm having like one of those days where i'm like i didn't get good sleep mm -hmm. or you know thoughts on my mind whatever it is i don't take that out on the kids i don't either i'm a teacher so that's why i'm saying that i don't take it out on the kids mm. or like when she has like a client who's just having the worst day and takes it out on her she's not 
giving it back. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, when I think about this lady here, the waitress, and she must have been having a bad day. Mm -hmm. like, why are you taking that out on us? Why are you pushing us out? Like, bro, right. we're paying for you. We're paying so you can get paid too. So you don't need you need to have some respect and like some um, work on that hospitality when you're exactly. working with your customers. Yep. So. I'm I'm like I said, this place was amazing. Come out here, try the food. It was delicious. I'm not gonna knock it. Ten out of ten. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. But if you do come, make sure that's not the waitress. <laughs> Period. We don't have to say her name. We don't have to nope. describe what she looks like. We won't like. do all that. But I can tell you that from the minute we came in and she became our waitress, the vibe was there. She was like from start to finish. So for those reasons, we don't have to point her out on who she is. But let me tell you, if you get her, you will know right away. Other than that, come try this place. It was delicious. You do gotta come. It's right off the freeway. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say it's near Graycroft. Mm -hmm. And like Wilmot area, right off the freeway. Big old sign when you're driving by, Triple T. This is Omar's Highway Chef Restaurant. Mm -hmm. So basically open all day, all night. So if you're one of those late night people, maybe you're in Tucson. 24-7, they're and open. And you don't know what's open because let's be real, a lot of places in Tucson mm -hmm. be closing early. If it's not 8 p.m., because 8 p.m., I feel like it's like a late time for yeah. Tucson. Come over here and make that extra drive. I agree. I agree. But thank you so much, you guys, for joining. I'm just so done with bad customer service, you guys. But again, thank you to those that watched I'm gonna this whole <laughs> this, I'm going to watch the whole video. I appreciate you guys. And I guess we'll go ahead and exit the vlog here. And thank you again. Much love. And I hope everybody is in amazing spirits. And we will see you guys on the next vlog, or or the next mukbang. Mm. Oh, okay. Stay tuned. I thought we were going to say live. Oh, we're live as well. Either one. You know Bye, what? you guys. I like it all. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.